Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, the grass is very tall in places, and some places it ain't doing nothing. Don't know why. I think it's the poor quality of dirt they brought in, and I paid for. Uh, I've been fighting goat heads. That's a little weed, that, like stickers. Uh, I've been fighting them, digging them up around there every day. I got to go out and dig up more and more and more. Going to get some 2,4-D. They say that'll kill them. It'll kill the grass too, but that's okay. I got it. I want. I want them gone. Them are, They'll give you flat tires on your uh, lawnmowers and bicycles. And speaking of lawnmowers, guys, there's Hank eating dirt again. What do you eat dirt for? Oh. Anyway, look at that. There's my new toy. Well, it's a working implement. And uh, Charlie Bloods was this. This is his idea. He said, put that strap on there so when you're going around and you need to lift it up, you can lift it right up like that and don't have to get down. Which is a good idea. So I put a strap on it. Anyway, this is a Husqvarna 48-inch uh, lawnmower with a Kawasaki motor. Yep. It's a V-twin. Thumpity, thumpity, thump. Doesn't sound like a Harley, but it's a V-twin. 23 horsepower Kawasaki motor. I went with the more expensive motor because it's in the more expensive the whole rig is because this is gonna you know this is it. I ain't buying no more. I'm done. This gotta last me till I that croak off. And it should. It should easily way outlast me. Uh haven't used it yet. I just pulled it out of the trailer over there. You seen the new pergola over there? What do you think of that? Anyway, we're gonna grab this thing, put it on about two inches, I'm I'm told, and then we're gonna mow that yard down later today. I've let it dry out. This will be the second full day, and we're gonna let her dry out all day long, and uh, then give it a mow and see how she works. But I'm happy as a clam with that. Uh, I think Vicky's gonna be the operator. I'll do all the trimming because she can't lift nothing. But with both of us, we should get this yard done and nothing flat. Matter of fact, we think we're going to start doing the yard over there, right there, that one. Uh, that's a friend of ours. We may start mowing that for her because nobody else is doing it. So we might start doing that. Uh, okay. Let's see if we got a video of me doing any mowing. Or Vicky doing mowing. I'll do. let Vicky do it. Then I'll take a video of her. I'm going to drag some stuff around my yard just to see if it works. Do you think that's where you're going to ride? <laughs> I think you better get up here in the seat. You can drive it. I don't think you're going to be riding on there, buddy. I think we'll be in the house. And I can see you uh, wanting to get up there already, huh? Well, I'm going to figure out something to drag behind here and try to straighten out the, the lot here. i got some aluminum here and gating and stuff. See what I can figure out. One thing i got to figure out is my co-pilot here. <laughs> he already jumped up in my lap when I was coming over here. With my permission. With my permission. Well... Oh. Let's keep going here. Hank and I are still waiting for the yard to dry, so we found a few other things to do around the house. Here's a tip for you. When we were taking this tree down, one of the limbs fell down and hit right on top of this stake. And you notice it's a little lower than the other one now. So, uh, I don't need it there anyway, but I wanted to show you a way to pull a stake up out of the ground mainly the easiest way if I had a bumper jack it'd be even easier you just strap it on there then jack it up and out comes the post easier with a bumper jack but any kind of jack will do it but uh, the tie down I had on it kept slipping so I just had to use vice grips to hold that so it wouldn't slip up the pole another tip for today guys hope you're having a great one Getting ready for the bully barn. Should be parked here real soon. What do you think, Hank? 
<laughs> I tell you what, guys, I'm pooped. Uh, riding lawnmowers, uh, learning curve, learning curve. Uh, I thought it, when it said three on the deal, it was three inches. Wrong. It left my grass about a half inch long over there when I first started out. Put it up on four, and it got it down to this length, which is plenty short. But he likes it. But it was scalping. You can see where it's scalped here and there. Oh, oh that, that got rid of Hank. So, uh, I'll learn. I'll, I'll get her done. Uh, I'm throwing the water on it again. I'll, I'll show you the front yard. But uh, it's high and low. It's because of the this place thing is so uneven. And I'm, I'm, I've never had a riding lawnmower before. So I'm new. Green as a gourd on this thing. Green is my wife. I was going to let her drive it, but i got to get good at it first and then see what she, if she can. Let me go show you the front yard. Uh, yeah, let's go there. All right, here's the front yard. Uh, I didn't even pick up my trimmings there. I, I did go around it with the weed whacker and got a few of the weed, the grass along the sides. The mist part. I'm tired. It's uh, 100 degrees out here today. And uh, I didn't, it was ready, and I didn't want to wait till this afternoon just for, for me. Right now, we're trying to get this grass in shape, and that's more important than me. I can go in there and cool off, which is what I'm going to do right now. But uh, I did hit a sprinkler over there. One of the sprinklers came out of the ground too far, so got to wait and see how that works. But uh, this is it. This is the new lawnmower doing its job. I don't think Vicky got any good pictures of me doing my hard work. Just the results here. Let's get it wet. I did turn on the sprinkler system. As you've seen, it about got little Hank. And, yep, I hit one of those sprinkler heads and I had a geyser in the middle of my yard. Luckily, I had the parts to fix it. And so we're good to go. And I'm done for the day. Thanks for looking at my new lawnmower. Talk to y'all later. Bye.